While performing ETL from any source to a destination, there are many things that can go wrong. The incoming data may have unexpected fields or missing fields. There could be network failures or sudden surge in the scale of incoming data. Sources and destinations may intermittently not be available. These are a few common phenomena in the ETL process. These exceptions may cause the entire data flow to break or have missing data. Ensuring these problems are caught and handled in a robust manner is critical to ensure the data that you bring in for analysis is the latest, complete, and error-free. In order to address this problem in Hevo, we have a concept called the replay queue. Any exception in the data pipeline is caught and parked in a separate staging area called the replay queue. And you're notified so that you can review the errors and make any required changes. You can then selectively process those events which have the exceptions. Meanwhile, your pipelines continue to process the incoming records which don't have exceptions. Let me show you the life cycle of an individual event on Hevo. An event is a single incoming data set. In MongoDB, a single document in a collection is an event. Similarly, a single row in MySQL is an event. Hevo pulls an event from the source and brings it to the transformation stage. If you've defined any transformations on the event, this is applied and the event moves to the schema mapper. This is where the incoming event is mapped to a destination table. Once the event is mapped, it's ingested into the destination table. Now, let's see what could possibly go wrong in this process. At the transformation side, your transformation code can have various kinds of errors, like interpretation errors, logical errors, or type errors. Events will be moved to the replay queue when such exceptions arise. In the schema mapper, there are many scenarios of when an event can move to the replay queue. Let's say you haven't yet mapped an event onto a destination table. The event can't be loaded in such cases. Hence, it'll be moved to the replay queue. Evo may detect new fields in the incoming event that may not have been mapped to destination fields yet. Such records also go to the replay queue. In cases where the data type of an incoming field has changed in a way that the event can now not be stored in the previously mapped field, this too is sent to the replay queue. At the destination side, there are a few scenarios when an event can be moved to the replay queue. If an event contains no or null value for a field that cannot be null in the destination table, then the incoming event will be sent to the replay queue. Depending on various situations, the destination might stop accepting writes. This might be due to network failures, disk failures, maintenance windows, etc. Events will be parked in the replay queue under such cases. There's a possibility that a table in the destination which was mapped to a source event has been dropped. This could have happened accidentally or unknowingly. Or a field in the destination table which was mapped to a field in the source event has been dropped. Even under such cases, the event will be parked in the replay queue. Hevo catches all the exceptions that arise in any stage and stores it in the replay queue so that you don't have to worry about losing your data. Let me show you how Hevo does it. I've configured a pipeline to move data from MongoDB to a Redshift data warehouse. Let's look at a sample incoming event. This event contains data for restaurants in a city. It has the name, cuisine, address, and grading for the restaurants. Hevo has already started reading the incoming events. However, there are a handful of exceptions that have been parked in the replay queue. Let's have a look at those. As you can see, the replay queue has flagged all the events with exceptions and parked them here. You get notified about this over email and Slack. You can also get the details of these exceptions here. The first exception says that the name field has exceeded its character limit. Let's view the same incoming events to see what the error is. The name of the restaurant here has more than 64 characters, hence the events are moved to the replay queue. The next one says that there are unmapped fields in demo.restaurants. Let's go back to the schema mapper to fix these issues. Hevo provides an option to automatically increase the size of a string field. To handle the first exception, let's use this option. So now, our first exception will be handled. Next, as you can see, the new fields in grading have been highlighted already. Let's map this to a destination field.
let me go back to the replay queue and reprocess just these events. In case you don't want these events in your destination, you can skip them. Note, once the events are skipped, they can't be recovered from Hevo. In every few minutes, Hevo checks if certain exceptions have been fixed and automatically replays them back into the pipeline. This symbol here indicates that Hevo will auto-replay these events into the pipeline. You can click on Replay to manually reprocess these events. I'll hit Replay. And that's it. See how easy it is to fix any errors and replay the events back into the pipeline on Hevo? Log in to your Hevo account and leverage the powerful features of the Replay queue. Write to us at try at hevodata.com for queries.